You go to the parties, you know, you go ahead and you do what people do. You, um, you work hard during the week, you go out on the weekends, you kick it, and you, get, you, you experience some kind of enjoyment, right? And why would someone want to give all that up? They gave all that up. What, what is it that you experience in Islam that makes you give that up? The enjoyment is not a true enjoyment that you feel at the clubs. The enjoyment is not a true enjoyment that you feel while you're listening to music. It's a temporary enjoyment. As soon as you know those notes stop be playing, those notes stop playing, and those endorphins stop, the hormones stop, and the chemical reactions in your brain um, reacting from the music stop, it goes away. It's empty, empty, empty. And only in the remembrance of Allah do the hearts truly find rest. And this is a true, true tranquility and rest that isn't temporary like any music. Now, can you, can you buy some of that? Can you buy that? You, I mean, you're paying to go to the nightclub. You're paying for the six pack. You're paying, you know, uh, for, for that pain, actually. Well, you get a, this uh, is, it's, you, it's, it's for free, it's but for it's the most valuable thing on the face of this planet. Yeah. That one of the scholars says, he says, that if, they, if the disbelievers knew what we, the, the happiness that we feel, they would want to steal it from us with their swords. And that's the happiness we feel. It's tranquility and it's a real, permanent, eternal tranquility. Priceless, priceless, but priceless. it's free. Without if you want it, that's the thing. Do you